All right, so what the heck is salmon skin art, right? So earlier this year, I started collecting skins off of each of the salmon species that come back to our hatchery here. I've got a whole towel covered in skins. Red for red salmon, pink for pink salmon. Genius. So as I was collecting these skins, I was actually tanning them too. Uh, the way I preserve those skins is is really simple actually. So what you do is you take a bunch of pieces of tree, barks, twigs, sticks, that kind of thing, you put them in a pot, then you cover that pot, or you cover the sticks I guess, with water. You boil them for, I don't know, an hour or two, and let that cool down. Put your salmon skins inside of that solution, and then you just let them sit for a week or two, and that's literally it. Uh, after a week or two, you pull them out, and they're preserved. Done. It's really cool, just using tree bark, I was able to preserve all this well enough that it still has scales, you can see the spots in them. I'm pretty impressed that something so simple works so well. Neat. So I wish I could run through the entire tanning process and how that all works, but unfortunately I tanned all these kind of over the course of the year, and the salmon are all gone. They're not going to be back until next summer, so I guess that might have to be another video. Until about an hour or so ago, these were stiff as a board. I soaked them in some water to soften them back up because I want to get these to dry as flat as possible for uh, what I had planned for them later. So what I'm going to do now is rub a bunch of oil in them so that when they dry they're going to not be all, well I guess, dried out. It'll keep the leather supple. Here's the oil that I'm going to use. I think it was like 10 bucks on Amazon. Let's start with... We'll start with chum salmon. You can still kind of see the stripes in that just faintly. Oops. That's right, that's where it's going anyway. Gotta get both sides. One done. Yeah. Lots to go. Uh, one thing that was really cool about tanning these with tree bark was that during the whole process it just smelled like tree. I mean, I don't know why that was surprising, but it was. It was pretty cool. Two species down. Two to go. Whew. All done. Now I actually don't have a lot of time to finish this project up, and so I want these to dry as quick as I can. I want to try to get them done by tomorrow. So what I'm going to do actually is put these into our boiler room. It's nice and hot and dry in there so these should be ready for me tomorrow night and I can finish the rest of the project. Welcome to the glamorous boiler room. So what I'm going to do here is lay a few layer of these out nice and flat, kind of stack them up. I want these to dry as flat as possible. Oopsies. Hello. Apparently your phone gets a little slippery when your hands are all covered in neat foot oil. Layer number two. All laid flat, weighted down. See these guys tomorrow. TV magic. Okay, so I had to cheat a little bit. Uh, they weren't quite drying as fast as I wanted them to, so I had to kind of uncover them, lay them all out. And they also didn't quite dry perfectly <laughs> flat, but that's okay. They're going to be flat enough for what we need. So here's the end goal. I bought this frame here, and so what I'm gonna try to do is take a square of each species and put its skin in each corner. So I'm gonna have to find a piece of skin from each one that's flat enough and big enough to fit in here. And I think that should come out looking pretty cool. Got my four skins picked out now, so what I'm going to do is lay the little frame part here on the back. I'm going to trace a little square around, and I'm going to cut just outside of the line I trace so I have a little bit of overhang here. Time to start cutting. Oh, seems like it's cutting out. Yeah, it cuts fine. It's kind of weird. You're cutting some of the skin? Yeah. But it's cool. Here's a, here's a quick demo. Okay. Ah. That's gonna be cool. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta make sure I put them in the order that I want them, but opposite. 
Right, put on the back. Keep it straight. All right, you ready to see if I got it? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Okay. It looks awesome. I love it. Oh, that one, the socket looks really cool. Okay, you're gonna have to do better because all I see is my reflection. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy with it. I am too. I can't wait to hang this on the wall. That actually might look cooler than I thought it was going to look. <laughs> Hold it up for me. Oh, you're in a robe. <laughs> I'm going to start selling these on Etsy. I'm going to be rich.